What's he talking about? Bags of what? Mrs. McGuire, this is more than just thieving. The money's a means to an end. We have reason to believe that he's stealing because he's using drugs. Heroin, to be more precise. It may seem dated now, but with his gritty soap operas tackling social issues, Phil Redman became the saviour of primetime television. Talking to students at Liverpool John Moores in the building named after him, the honorary professor described how BBC bosses try to silence the working class accent. The controversy around Grange Hill at the beginning was because of the working class accents. Yeah. You know, and it, the, oh, it was, it's very hard to explain it now. I mean, you know, you have almost full frontal sex on television these days. But then it was kind of to speak, to have children speak with a working class accent was like, you know, almost the end of civilization as the BBC knew it, you know. Yeah. The chairman of the Liverpool Cultural Partnership, alongside LJMU and Liverpool City Council, have placed a bid for Liverpool to host Channel 4 after the broadcaster's relocation announcement. The question on everybody's lips was, what did the chairman of the Liverpool Cultural Partnership think sets Liverpool apart from the other cities placing bids for Channel 4's move? Well, I think to be you know, realistic about it, I mean, they're going to fight tooth and nail not to leave the great capital. You know. But the government is also seems to be signalling that it wants something different. It wants Channel 4 to make more of an impact outside London. I constantly build a city as the second city of culture within the UK. You know. And, you know, Liverpool has got a great um, habit and a great kind of like track record in saying uncomfortable truths. And that's what we need in a democracy. We need the counterpoint, the counterbalance all the time to that, what's going on down in Westminster. So I think there's a good chance that Liverpool will be right there at the, at the top of it. Only time will tell if enough has been done to convince Channel 4 bosses that Liverpool is their new home.